housing and security. And that covers a broad definition. Um, sometimes people fall under the definition of homeless and don't even realize it. So come and learn more at 10 o'clock here at the church on Monday. Tomorrow we also have our open and affirming meetup. So individuals, LGBTQ and allies are welcome to come and just share in some fellowship and games. We would love to have, have all be a part. That's at six o'clock on Monday. We also are uh, blessed to be hosting an A on Mondays and Wednesdays. So if you or a loved one could benefit from that support group, please feel free to come at six o'clock, Mondays and Wednesdays. Speaking of Wednesday, we have our community meal. The health department will be here again to do a booster clinic and not only provide booster shots, if anyone is interested, but also um, they have the tests that they have to hand out and they just give general information. So um, that's a nice ministry. And then our community meal is at five o'clock. It's gonna be meatball sandwiches, uh, chips, fruit, and dessert. So come and enjoy. In the bulletins, in email, and uh, on Facebook, you might have seen that the Easter flowers are uh, ready to be ordered. They come as four bulbs in a very nice pot, and we used to decorate the we use them to decorate the sanctuary on Easter Day. It makes for a beautiful Easter day. And then, if you'd like, you can take them home, plant them, or give them to others. And if you just want to help decorate the church grounds, we will be planting those bulbs after Easter in the front of our church so that we can create a very large pick garden so the whole community can just come and pick flowers. So uh, please help fill our grounds with our flowers. Uh, Tuesday, last week, was our first anxiety support group that went very well. We invite anyone who is interested to let me know. We do have a Zoom option, so we can send that out to interested parties. And uh, we are still brand new, so we're kind of uh, building the structure for it as, as it's needed for different individuals. Are there any other special announcements? I'm sorry, Meals on Wheels. We are passing around a uh, clipboard in Sanctuary. If you are interested in helping with Meals on Wheels, uh, Beth can tell you more about what that ministry is. Uh, but also, we have five days to go? Four days a week. It's a four day. Yeah, four not, day week. Not a good Friday. There we go. So we will be doing this Turkey Holy Week. We will, uh, so we're looking for volunteers. If you are able, please let us know. Also, anyone who's joining us online who wants to order flowers, you can do that by sending me an email or contacting us on Facebook. And then you can turn in the $12 for the, for the pot uh, through our website. So we can walk you through that. Are there any other announcements? Very good. Then let us begin our worship together with a little childhood favorite. He's got the whole world in his hand. You want to stand and sing this? We got the whole In his hand, he got the whole world in his hand. 
He got the whole world in his hand. He got the whole world in his hand. He got the whole world in his hand. He got the whole world in his Thunder. Thunder. Yeah, it sounds very fun. 
Um, <coughs> lights, if we turned off all the lights right now, it would be dark. It would be dark. Would you be able to read every the books and the hymnals? Would you be able to read the Bible very easily? No, we can't see. And we wouldn't be able to see the, the scripture. But, <laughs> but we'd yeah. use the window light, right? But, yeah. the but the candles, too. And the candle light. There's so many things that create light. But how often do you hear people talking about a human being the light? Talk about Jesus being the light. But we use, we use that as a symbol. Jesus is a symbolic light because he helps make helps us to see things that we can't see without him. He helps to guide us and helps us to see scripture in a new way. So, and I don't know about, are any of you afraid of the dark? No! Oh, I'm so glad. We love the dark. You we love the dark? Yes. Well, dark is your friend. That's good. <laughs> That's good. It is good to be comfortable in the dark, but sometimes people are afraid of the dark, and so having a light, little bit of light what you scared of the dark. dark. What you scared of the dark. Well, you just call me out today. Some days. Some days. Yeah. So, today, when we talk about Jesus being the light, I want you to think about all the different lights that you experience in your life and how helpful it can be. Yeah, the sun, because we need the sun for us to grow, for the plants to grow. And Jesus helps us to grow in our hearts and souls. I'm going to be loving. Loving? Yeah. Loving? Yeah. And be happy. And be happy. Oh, those are wonderful ways to help share light, right? You light up people's lives when you're loving and you're happy. And Jesus gives that to us, and we give it to others, right? Yeah. So, now you're going to notice in a lot of the songs we sing today with Dan, you're going to hear words about light and shining, and we're going to read scripture. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to jump down here. I'm sorry. I'm sitting on here because I'm not moving well. All right, so let's have a prayer together. Are you ready? Here, I think I can sit down. Let's sit down. I'm going to sit down. Let's sit down. Okay, now put your hands together. We're going to say prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for being our light. Thank you for showing us new scriptures and helping us to understand them in loving kindness. In your name we pray. Amen. Now, let's go make joyful noises today. If you really need to go downstairs, I'm sure Miss Heather will be happy to take you if you ask your family. But since we have Dan and I need help dancing, would you all be willing to stay in worship with me and do some singing and dancing? I just want to play with Okay, we'll talk to your mom and Miss Heather, okay? <coughs> all right, let's go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it. to acknowledge 
joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and the dry hand which his hands have formed. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Do not harden your hearts, as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness. When you're, oh, whoops. All right, we're going to the Gospel, the first chapter of John, verses 1 through 9. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through Him. And without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being with Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. Good morning. Hope you are well today and uh, uh, so good to be with you. Uh, we have songs of light. We have songs of noise. <laughs> Jesus. 
trust and follow your light. start it goes like this follow me follow me come follow me I will take you to the promised land follow me follow me come follow me to the valley of the lion and lamb make a cross got it and all the big kids out here they're going to help you too okay matter of fact if you see some of the big kids out here they're not doing it point at them <laughs> Okay, let's practice. Okay, it goes, follow, follow me, follow me, come follow me. I will take you to the promised land. Follow me, follow me, come follow me to the valley of the lion and lamb. Good. You ready? To the valley of the mind and land To the valley 
Oh, there'll be another one we can dance to, I promise you. Uh, this is a story that uh, was, it, it didn't happen to me. A friend of mine told me this story. And uh, when, when he told me the story, I got, I got shivers, you know? I, I get you the goosebumps and you get all, ooh. I asked, can I, can I use your story? And, yeah, yeah. Um, and since uh, telling the story, a lot of people have a same, uh, a similar experience. And if you have, uh, well, then you, you, you really get what this is all about. It was a stormy night back when I was seven. My father passed away, went to meet his maker. I love my daddy so. Couldn't bear to let it go, but I knew someday we'd be together. It was another stormy night, some years later. I was driving down a road I'd never been on. The car began to swerve, I headed for the curve. That was the last thing I remember. There are angels in this world. There are spirits you can't see. There are angels walking right beside you. There are spirits watching over you. You know, this is a song about people who have been to the mountaintop. 
and come back down from the mountain to share their stories with other people. And when people hear those stories, they get so full of and excited, they just, whoo, they throw their hands up and whoo. That's what this song is all about. You need to sing the chorus with me. Goes, amen, say amen. Again and again and again, amen. Amen. You can do that, right? Let's sing it. Say amen. Say amen. Again and again and again. Amen. Say amen. Say amen. Let God's children stand. Say amen. Yeah, so when we get to the part that says let God's children stand, you should stand. If you're able. And because this is a song of, of excitement, of being, of hearing the message come from the mountaintop and change is going to come. People get excited and go, Whoo! which is what you'll do. And then you get to sit back down. <laughs> All right? Now you have to anticipate this a little bit, just a little bit, because if you don't, then it gets to sound like, you know, uh, a little like the three stooges, you know. Let God's children stand. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm also real close to uh, writing in another verse, uh, another line in the, in the chorus. Let God's children stand <laughs> and say amen. Because that's usually the sound I make when I have to stand. But I'm already standing. And so, shall we try it? All right, kids, this is your chance. Say amen, again and again and again, amen. Say amen, say amen, let God's children stand. Woo! Say amen, that's all you got. All right, we are small, but we are mighty. I got to tell you, I sang this song in Birmingham, England, and there was a woman in a wheelchair about right there. Loud as whooper you ever did hear. <laughs> Just a second. Well, Moses came down the mountain. He's carrying the tablets of sin. I never in any bush got to change it now. Just like it changed it then.
get nervous about your participation. <laughs> no need to worry about that, though. Uh, remember that time before COVID? <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, it was a time in, in our country that uh, politics seemed to be dividing us. And I don't care what side you come down, it, the division was real. And I found that very disturbing. I, I wondered, what can I do about that? I mean, I'm just a guy. And, uh, and so I prayed about it. And what I, what I learned is, and I knew this before, but God answers his prayers. Now, God doesn't, to me, say, do A, B, C, D. He usually gives me a smack upside the head or a shove in the back and says, you know, I gave you some gifts for a reason. How about try that? Hmm. And so I wrote. And uh, every time I play this, I, I, I pray that as I throw my little pebble out onto the pond, that, that the ripples will grow and the, and the waves get bigger and bigger. Under the sun. 
sun We are one Under the sun We are one
Now this is a song that was written for uh, my third tour to the UK. I was going back this time to play in churches and see friends that I'd met along the way. And I wanted to give them a song. Not just play a song for them, but give them a song. So the first time this song was ever sung was at St. James Church, Liverpool, England. I gotta tell you, I got a little misty as I was singing, because I was raised on the Beatles, you know? Here I was in Liverpool, playing my music. They were singing it back to me. Well, the song's been used now at weddings, and funerals, worship services, concerts, fundraisers. And I give it to you today. Sing the chorus when it comes along. I'll teach you. May the sun shine upon you. May its warmth light your way. No! Oh. 
thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your worship today. Until our paths cross again, God bless you all. Christ inside me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, Christ beneath. 